Hey guys, my name is Danny, and today I'll be taking you through office ergonomics as well as exercises and stretches you can do at home after sitting behind a desk all day working. Okay, so firstly, what is office ergonomics? Basically what it is, is the way you move and position yourself when you're working in your office environment or work environment. So we look at the science behind how efficiently you can do this and comfortably to uh, reduce the risk of injury. Okay, so before I start with the stretches and exercises, I'm going to be showing you the difference between a poor or bad sitting posture and a good sitting posture. Okay, so jokes aside, but this is what a typical bad sitting posture looks like. Lumbar spine or lower back is concave because of lack of core stability or support and the shoulders are collapsed forward and rounded due to sitting on a desk usually and lowering down. The cervical neck is also hyperextended um, due to looking up at the laptop and overall causing a forward head posture and upper cross syndrome. This poor sitting posture is one of the main reasons and causes of lower back pain and headaches. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you a good sitting posture starting from the bottom. First, you want your feet flat on the floor and your hips and knees at a nice 90 degree angle. And then you want your bum as far back on the seat as possible so that your spine is nice and straight and upright. Be conscious to keep your core nice and tight to support your lumbar back and spine during sitting. Next, you want to sit as close as you can to your desk so that you can rest your arms nicely on the desk without straining going forward or too far back. Okay, so now in order to prevent the forward head posture which looks like that, you would want to raise the level of your screen, whether it's a monitor or a laptop, by putting anything you can underneath books or old shoe boxes so that the, level, the top of your screen is at eye level. And obviously it would be better if you had a portable mouse or keypad down here instead of being having to go up here so that you can relax your arms. Okay, so now that I've gone through the proper office ergonomics with you, we are going to go move on to the exercises and stretches. Another tip that we'd like to give you is that put a timer on your phone or something to make sure you get up every 20 to 30 minutes while you're working through your day, just to get the blood flowing and to release some tension you may have. does cause any pain, you should consult one of our bike medicists.